The longest budget speech delivered by a finance minister in recent years. It lasted all of 160 minutes. And therefore, all of you are exhausted as I am. I would not blame you. The only way I can help is by keeping the opening statement brief. I am at a loss to understand what was the message intended to be conveyed by Budget 2020-21. I am also not able to recall any memorable idea or statement in the speech. The takeaway from the budget speech are the following. One, the government has given up on reviving the economy or accelerating the growth rate or promoting private investment or increasing efficiency or creating jobs or winning a greater share of world trade. Two, there were multiple themes, segments and programs leaving the listener dazed and confused. There is a laundry list of old, that is current programs. I am pretty certain that even the most loyal BJP MP or supporter cannot latch on to any idea or statement in the budget speech and take it to the people. If the ongoing programs have failed the people, how can throwing more, or in some cases less, money into the ongoing programs change anything. Three, the BJP government has been identified with debatable positions like self-reliance, protectionism, control, and aggressive taxation. The budget affirms those positions. The government does not really believe in a market economy, competition, or higher trade intensity. The chief economic advisor must be a very disappointed man. Four, the government is in complete denial that the economy faces a grave macroeconomic challenge and the growth rate has declined in six successive quarters. There is nothing in the budget that leads us to believe that growth will revive in 2020-21. The claim of 6 to 6.5% 6 growth next year is astonishing and even irresponsible. 5. The Indian economy is demand constrained and investment starved. The FM has not acknowledged these two challenges and that is a pity. Consequently, she has proposed no measures or solutions to those two challenges. If the two challenges remain, the economy will not turn around and there will be no relief to the millions of poor and middle class. Six, food subsidy has been reduced, fertilizer subsidy has been reduced, the petroleum subsidy has been marginally increased because of anticipated increase in oil prices. It appears that the people will not get any relief on the price front. Please remember that CPI inflation is over 7% and food inflation is over 10%. 7. The finance minister failed Mr. Bill Mark's friendship. In 2019-20, the current year, she failed to meet any of the key budget estimate targets. Nominal GDP growth, fiscal deficit, net tax revenue collection, disinvestment revenue, or total expenditure. There is no assurance that she will meet the targets set for 2020-21. Eight, the government does not believe in reforms, and certainly not in structural reforms. The FM has outright rejected every, and I repeat, every reform idea out contained in the economic survey. I wonder, did the FM read the economic survey? I also wonder, was the chief economic advisor privy to the contents of the budget speech? I think the answer to both questions is on the negative. So, that is your budget for 2020-21. You did not ask for such a budget, 
and you did not deserve such a budget for voting the BJP to power. But you have to live with it until the government is forced to revise it as it did in 2019.